As the conflict between Russia and Ukraine continues, some Ukrainian students are worried about their loved ones. Roughly 1,700 Ukrainian students are studying at colleges and universities across the United States. It's been just over two months since Russia invaded Ukraine. This is something unbelievable. I did not expect, expect this to happen. And since then, Yara Balatsky has continued to study for his PhD in physics. Okay, mom, okay, how should I come back and all that? <laughs> My wife was very unhappy with the idea of me coming back because she's saying, you know, you're here and I am having a F2 visa. I don't have even a driving license and it would be really difficult. Family members urged him to finish his degree. You need to finish your PhD, and I'm actually close to finishing my PhD, like maybe a year. The Institute of International yeah, Education is giving him some financial support uh, to make that happen. He was awarded $2,500 in emergency funding to help continue his education. Tuition is the main problem. Uh, now we just don't spend it anywhere for, for now. Uh, because of number of possible unexpected expenses. Like my wife is pregnant. Right now, he relies on grant money for the cost of his degree. If he doesn't get more grants, the extra funds could come in handy. This year, I was, I was just lucky because uh, we've, got, uh, we've got an award. We've got an award which covered my tuition for this year. So, but uh, for, I, I don't know what will be in September. In the meantime, he's keeping positive for his family here and a world away. Why I should be not happy? Life is pregnant. Everything's good. In Colorado Springs, Mayo Davison, News 5.